Welcome to Me and You Outside. Today we will be kayaking, limb lining, and catching lots of catfish. So stay tuned to see what happens. There you have it, folks. Coming from two kids, gonna go ride kayaks, gonna help me and watch me set limb lines for catfish. And we're just gonna have a blast. And we're uh, right here at my house, just right across the river. And we're heading up the river that direction. Now first to start this off, I've got a perch trap over here. I've gotta go check. Bring me, follow me with this camera. Stay with me. We've got a perch trap right over here that I set out about two hours ago. I haven't checked it. It may have nothing, I don't know. But I have an idea, it's got some perch in it that I'll be putting on uh, my bigger limb lines, which I normally would catch, hopefully bigger catfish. That's what I like to use my perch for. It's right down in here. Let's pull her up and see what we got. Oh yeah, check that out. Can you see them right down in there? Down in there. There's at least 20 to 25 good perch right there. A lot of sun perch, but that's okay. We'll take them. All right, I'm gonna put these in a bucket and we are going up river. All right, I'm gonna throw this net and I'm going to catch some bait. And Jackson's my cameraman. He's gonna go with me. I want some minnows because I want to put some dead minnows on my uh, limb lines to catch channel cat, all right? And I'm not big on catching flathead on those, but you will once in a while, but very seldom, but mostly catch channel cat. But I got a, look like a spot right here. It might have some minnows. No minnows in it. right here. Jackson, right out there. See what we got here. Bro, got quite a few. See them there? Yep, let's put those in the bucket. That's a good spread. That's spread. If there's any in here, that would have got them. All right, I'm putting a limb line right here with my Bass Pro prefab limb lines that I got. You've seen on a previous video. I did some modification to these crazy things. They had a little old bitty swivel on there that wouldn't hold, honestly. We had a four pound channel cat tear them off. So I had to replace the swivels. I got these uh, barrel swivels, they're all right. They're a little heavier duty. And then I added a string on there. It's a 90 pound test string. And I put a different hook on there. I basically changed everything, but I kept the main string attached to the uh, to the Bass Pro Prefab limb line situation. But uh, now I'm going to hang this limb line right here. I'm standing in the water uh, above my waist, and it's pretty chilly right now. It's still early here, but so now I am going to attach this this limb right here. See how much line I can use. About right there, I about this whole thing gonna be about. Hang them down there, okay. Just tie it on there, a little bow knot. I'm gonna go ahead and bait this out. It's early to bait out, but we're coming back down through here. We're going a mile up the river, set these limb lines. And then, a mile back but coming back I will mainly be making sure the bait is still on the lines but we will catch a few I'm pretty sure we'll catch some I'm gonna get a small and I don't want a great big minnow here that thing right there I don't have a clue what that is so if I don't know what it is I don't use it for bait so goodbye fella here's a nice shiner right here there we go, steelback shiner on this hook right here in the mouth all the way down, just like that. And there he goes to the bottom. 
it might be off the bottom a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here on a leaf that'll keep them off the bottom i need them off the bottom about six inches that's what i like don't have to be but that's what i like and i'm gonna put another one on the limb right here and we're gonna put a bunch of these out so hang in there stay with us You wouldn't think you could catch fish with kids doing that, but I have proved it doesn't matter at all. In fact, you might catch more fish with them stirring up the water. That's what I believe. Come on, you guys. We're heading up. Now we're in deep water deeper water for this river i'm at shoulder height right now my grandson's gonna get up on a log and get into his kayak so we're gonna watch this can you get up there on that log yep i'm on it all right let's try to stand up grab this other log here right here grab that log and help you stand up okay you did it yeah big outfit I'm really get over here. Here's the rope. Don't tip her over, Jackson. There you go. Sorry. Heads up. <sighs> All right. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. Grab the log. <laughs> Should have had a guide that thing, Jackson. Hey, grab my holy cow. All right. Bye -bye. So I can go eat out here and get mine. Bye -bye. I'll let my Bye -bye. kayak get away from me. Papa, you got it? Yep. We're good. Right here. I have found something. I found something. Found out something. You take kids fishing. You gotta make sure they have a good time. So now they've had a good time now, but now they like to jump off this famous tree right here. That tree right there. Let's see if there's anybody up that tree. Whoa, there is somebody up that tree right there. And she's about to bail off. Right in this area right here, Billy. Really. Anywhere toward me. Okay. Three. She's about 10 foot two, up there. Water on the camera, but not too bad. You gonna know? You gonna go for it, Jackson? Sure. All right, Jackson will be next. I'll see you in a second. Take him a little bit to get up that tree. Big jumper, come on! Just okay. jump out here toward me. From here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> That's crazy. Good job. Yep, yep. <laughs> A limb line here that I baited out earlier. The kids are down there ahead of me. And this caught a catfish while we were up there messing around playing. A rayfish. I'm pretty sure it's a catfish. If I know catfish, this is a catfish. And he just got off. He was about a, uh, I'm say three pounder. And he just jumped off. So, what do you do? You rebate. Um, try to catch another one, I guess. I'll put two minnows on there. I just doubled up on the minnows on that, but no reason. Just because.
Well, see you in the morning. And that is real fast for you, but it's a whole night for me. Stay tuned. And good morning to you, wherever you are, whatever time it is. It's morning time for me right now, like 6.30, 6.45 in the morning. I'm going up to run those limb lines that I set. Uh, I'll show a little bit more about them as I get up there. I'm not real confident I'm going to have a lot of fish this morning. I only have about a dozen, maybe 15 limb lines out, so not, not a lot. Well, I'm not real confident that I'm going to have much fish because I hate to bait out so early. When you bait out early, turtles and all kinds of other little fish pick at your dead minnows until they get them off there. Just ir very uh, irritating. I did put some live, good-sized perch on there that might have remained till dark. And if they did, there is the possibility of me catching a, a nice big flathead. That'd be nice. All right. By the way, so what I'm using right here, this is my little uh, kayak. It's called a hybrid called an H12, which means hybrid 12 foot. It is a Bass Pro Ascend kayak. I'll tell you what I have discovered about this little kayak right here. You can stand up in it literally. I don't do it just because I don't want to, but I, I have just to try it out, but I don't, I don't stand up in it uh, just because. Um, it's very stable. I love this, and so I wouldn't limb line or trot line out of a kayak in no way, no how. But I can this one. It's a lot of, it's a lot of room up front. I can put fish up front here when I catch them. I've got me a big old dip net right over here I'm taking with me. Um, got my dry box right there with my phone in it. <clears throat> I'm always prepared when I'm kayaking, whether I'm trot lining, pole fishing, what I'm doing. I'm always prepared to get in the water. I don't carry anything in my body pockets or anything that I would be concerned about getting wet because you never know on these things I mean you I've never tipped this one ever but it can happen and so I'm prepared uh, in every way if I tip it I'll be fine I don't have anything I'm going to worry about other than I am wearing hip waders this morning so I don't want to tip it in very deep water which I'm not in very deep water most of this water up here is not over my head there might be a place or two it might be a tad over my head but uh, most of it's you know right up to my neck something like that so I'll be fine. So let's go up there and see what we got. Uh, I'll video every fish coming up to it. So we'll just see if we have anything. So all I can say is stay right there. Well, I've <clears throat> got two limb lines right here. One of them has a fish on it. Come here, feller. Oh, my. <clears throat> I want you to look at that. An otter or an eagle got a hold of him. I'm pretty sure it might have been an eagle. I've had that happen up here before. There's an eagle's nest right up there. <clears throat> it just tore him up, that poor feller. He got poke holes in him. I can't tell if it's teeth or claws. But he's still alive. Decent channel cat. <laughs> yeah, feller. I hate it. He had a horrible night. <laughs> All kinds of creatures wanting him. <clears throat> Three pounder. Throw him up front. There's a Bass Pro prefab limb line right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the hook all the way up. Pulling this line out. Pull the hook all the way up. All the way. As you can see, I have a swivel on there. Again, I, I, re, I redid these. I put my own swivel on them and a little bit bigger hook, a, a little heavier hook, let's say. Put in the notches like that. Around there like that. You can set that right there like that. You can tighten it down a little bit, but that'll be all right. It'll be, it won't go anywhere. I'm gonna wrap this line around here like this. This is it. I'm telling you, these are really cool in a way. You can make these out of PVC pipe, <clears throat> but you'd have to be like putting a puzzle together. You have to really think about how it's going together. But it's doable. Put that line through there like that. 
That is tangle free. I have to admit it's tangle free. I mean, I'm telling you. All right. Uh, that was two lines. They got some more to go. I'm probably going to have some channel cat this morning, but that's about it. Hang on. I got another little fish here. I don't know if it's bigger. I, mean, it's not, I know it's not a big fish, but it is a fish. Okay. Young limb line right here. I wear hip boots. See how he kicked around there and got hit my legs? That's what they'll do. They will get you so wet. Oh boy. Circle hook did his job. So, there you have it. I caught two decent catfish, make a mess for a good couple, um, probably a quart bag, which is good, and had a lot of fun yesterday with grandkids. I'll be back up here setting maybe trot lines later, and we'll see how that goes. Appreciate you watching this video. I'm going to be heading back to the house. I've got things to do today. Wherever you're at in this world, morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever, Appreciate you watching. Thanks for being here. Me and you outside. See you on the next video coming soon.